Hello boys and girls, today we're gonna be talking about new map, what's it called? Pork Bay. Right, I'm sure loads of you, you played that map already, but I just want to point a few things on that. Like you see now, uh, this map basically is split for three parts, and uh, the three individual parts um, they not collided with uh, one to the altar. Uh, what this mean, guys? If you drive a medium on that side of the map, uh, guys from opposite team who drive in the middle of the map, they can they cannot snipe you uh, as long as they not move physically from the middle map to you. You feel safe and comfy to drive all the way around. Uh, same thing is with a heavy tank, if the heavy tank goes in the middle one and if you drive a medium tank here you have to go to his uh, playground uh, to fight with him uh, otherwise uh, you're gonna be staying here and uh, you have to physically move to that place you're not, uh, you're not be allowed to snipe any, any of the tanks same things happening with the third part of that map was a port bay if you're playing on it, it's a lot of uh, tricky buildings, warehouses, but everything is uh, very smart, bordered with a uh, brick wall, guys. That means if you are on this position and try and move to the port, uh, or snipe someone from the port, you're gonna be struggling, there's no chance to do it, to be fair. Mm, and it's not that many things where you may go and snipe, like you see now we're gonna be moved on the left hand side, and uh, basically is a like a camping uh, bit on that pointed I may say a little bit on the port a little bit in the middle and a part of that uh, is not that many high spots where you may climb in on the tank mm, basically my personal opinion this map is great uh, is it the best map uh, it looks like uh, guys from all gaming think about they uh, what they're gonna be doing here uh, because everything works absolutely fine on that map. I feel really comfy playing a medium, playing a heavy and tank destroyer on that map. It's uh, not like a just, a, I may say, map for the one type of a tank. This blend three things on that map. This make this uh, battle here great, guys. Uh, like you see, we're moving now to, I may say, uh, call it this heavy part of the map. Uh, people who are the at the middle of the map, they just see the opponent on the front or on the back. Uh, even a medium driving behind a the hill, they're not uh, pretty much dangerous as long as he's not flanking you. And uh, like you see, even gaps between the building, there are uh, enough comfort to drive a medium tank. Uh, all the way around the opponent uh, was a quite good, to be fair, on, the, uh, on that map. Uh, like I said, any type of a tank feel comfy on here, and uh, I try uh, uh, show you guys um, playing a heavy tanks uh, on a port bay as well. Like you see, these two uh, two places on the map, uh, I feel personally really, really, really comfy and and enjoy that uh, that places. Uh, right. We finish one battle uh, with a medium tank and we try and move on now to the heavy one. Uh, we did a good job, uh, Austin was great, uh, we won. Mm, like you see here, uh, we are dropped on the map, uh, pointed to the port and middle. And uh, if you are medium, you, you drop normally on the right hand side here. Uh, what is easy and quick it gets uh, on the right on this uh, I may say medium design uh, part of the map mm, We're gonna be going now to the port have a look uh, how it is look basically and uh, Like you see graphic is awesome here mm, Is a lot of spots when you may uh, just wait for your opponents uh, uh, even hide it for some uh, reason, but this, like you see, is not many things. We may snipe someone from the back. Uh, it's a little bit hail on the back, but anyway, uh, you're gonna be visible for everyone, and you're gonna be easy targeted. Here, like you see, playing uh, 
heavy tank in the port. There's a lot of uh, useful boxes. Uh, you, if you hide in the lower part of the body, you are pretty much indestructible. Mm, nothing much uh, help than, than the box, cars, uh, containers here. Uh, I feel great to play on that uh, that part uh, because uh, if you if you notice, guys, like I said before, this is this map is split for the three uh, three things: left, middle, and right hand side. As I said, and if I play in the port, I have a brick wall on my right hand side, and uh, no one can snipe me uh, from the distance. That means all my opponents gonna be here. And I feel pretty much comfy, just manage uh, them here, don't stress myself yet, uh, if it's some medium tanks that are flanking me up, but like you see on the map, uh, the medium tanks are far away, playing with the other guys, uh, I hope so, the majority of, uh, of opponent they have decided to go to the port, I don't know if they still want to check if his book is still actual, that's been jump into the water, and uh, not dying, well, dying, but becoming a zombie. Mm, yes, guys, uh, definitely recommended, and definitely you're gonna be enjoy that map uh, because it's well designed. Uh, someone spent some time thinking how to uh, sort these things out to make a game more uh, playable, and uh, this map give you this uh, pretty much opportunity to do that. Mm. Like you see now, uh, is a small problem with my ET uh, 110E5. Uh, I must say, it's a problem with a gun and a delay with that. Mm, but uh, back to the map. Uh, this is a port bay, uh, and uh, pretty much is uh, well designed. And you like have a board on the top with a brick wall. Like I said, it's no one can shoot you from uh, from the town. You feel much pretty, much safe here. Mm, that's it, guys. I hope so. You enjoyed that quick, uh, quick review of the Port Bay, uh, and I'm sure you've got a lot of pleasure playing the map. Uh, you have to just know uh, how to use that map to be winner. Cheers, guys, for watching, uh, and uh, I hope so. Uh, we see you again in the next review. Cheers.